Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to a little green craft shop update. Now, if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll probably recognize these. And this is one of my lightweight water filtration bags. And I came up with these a couple of years ago. I did a how-to video on them, but a lot of people asked, could I make up some of those and sell them in the shop? Which we do from time to time, we make them up. And the feedback overall has been excellent. They're very quick to use compared to their canvas counterparts. They're very lightweight, very, very compact. They dry out really fast and they don't have that nasty smell of damp canvas. They are all round brilliant. But I did have a little bit of feedback, which said sometimes when you're using it, well, you almost need three hands because as well as pouring the water in and perhaps holding the bag, if you haven't got something to suspend it from, it can be a little tricky because as it fills and the fabric gets wet, the top closes up so I went away had a think and I've come up with this and this is my mark 3 version and what's different about it well that's what I'm going to show you next so it's still made from double thickness ripstop nylon this one what I've done is I've made them all in one solid color bright orange so it doubles up as a, an emergency signal marker you can even just hang it up by your camp from your toggle line and it just gives you a bearing that you can walk off on and it will help to find your way back. I've also changed the orientation of the loop on the top and made it very slightly longer. But the big difference is, well, this bit of reinforcement around the top, which my early ones did have. It's the same 25mm polypro webbing, but what I've done is I've left both ends just there open and there's a very good reason for that because what we can do is we can then insert a small stiff stiffener try saying that in a hurry in this case I've gone for a, a cable tie and all we do is we just push that into that little tunnel like so and suddenly you've got a more rigid rim to the top and it helps to hold it open in that position which when you're trying to fill it up it's really easy filling it into a space like that even once the fabric is wet and you've got weight on there so it helps to hold it open and it makes using it just that little bit easier you don't come with the cable tie you have to supply your own cable ties but everything else is exactly the same as the original bags which are very very popular and for very very good reason now these are going to be going up in the shop in the next uh, week or so so keep your eyes on the shop they're going to be 20 pounds obviously plus your PMP and uh, yeah I've made up a big load I'll probably do them in two batches and they'll be 20 pounds each now if you want to get in early these as always will be offered to my patrons way before they get to you guys and they'll also be offered at a discount so if you want to get ahead, if you want to make sure you get one, become a patron. It pays to be a patron. Anyway, just thought I'd give you this little update on the latest Mark III lightweight water filtration bag. So if you enjoyed this video, then remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Down below in the links box, there is a link to my social media. So Instagram, Facebook, pop over there, give me a follow. And as always, there is a link down there to my Etsy shop. Pop over there, get yourself one of these. And also get yourself one of these, my little green craft patches. There's also a link down there to my spreadshirt shop. And over there you'll find a whole range of different t-shirt designs that I have designed. Pop over there, get yourself a t-shirt, but there's also mugs, stickers, a whole range of different stuff 
that I've designed up especially for you guys. Anyway, I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.